What's up everybody, I'm Rossi and welcome to another Pokemon video. In this video, we'll be taking a look at what you need to do in Pokemon Sword and Shield before the Isle of Armor releases. Let's get right into it. So, we are a few days away from the release of Isle of Armor. Of course, the number one thing you need to do right now is to finish the game, and that means beating the league champion Leon. After that, a whole bunch of things to do opens up. You can get a Charmander from the second floor of Hop's house, you can get a Master Ball from your own home from Professor Magnolia, you can get Type Null from the Battle Tower, and you can finally catch your legendary Pokemon Zacian if you are playing the Sword version, or Zamazenta if you are playing the Shield version. To start the quest to catch your legendary Pokemon, just head to Slumbering Wield. You can also get Galarian Slowpoke from the Witchhurst Station. Finish your Pokedex to get the Shiny Charm to increase the odds of encountering a Shiny Pokemon. We currently don't know if the Shiny Charm will work in Isle of Armor or if you first need to finish Isle of Armor's Pokedex, but in any case it doesn't hurt to be prepared. I have a huge list of how to catch videos on this channel, so if you are missing some particular Pokemon, be sure to check my video library for guidance. Get the hidden ability Gen 8 starters by transferring any Pokemon to Pokemon Home on Switch, and then claiming the starters with the mobile version of Pokemon Home. I've made a step-by-step -step instructions video on how to do this if you need any help. The link will be in the description box down below. Clear your storage boxes and send unused Pokemon to Pokemon Home so you have enough clear space for all the new Pokemon we'll be catching and hatching in the Isle of Armor. Farm experience and Dynamax candies by doing some raids and level up different types of Pokemon for different situations. You do want to have counters ready for each type. And you also want to have lots of experience candies to quickly level up any new Pokemon you catch and want to use. Dynamax candies don't level up your Pokemon, but they level up their ability to Dynamax, which means every Dynamax level gives your Pokemon a 5% boost to its hit points when Dynamaxed. Farm some Watts and Wishing Pieces. Wishing Pieces of course are used for the Raid Dens to call out Raid Pokemon and Watts, just in case there could be some use for those. If you don't know how to farm these, I'll leave a link to my video in the description box down below. Basically, you can do this by going up to any den, throwing in a wishing piece and entering the den. You then select invite others and press the home button on your Joy-Con to go into your switch settings, system and disable sync time via internet. Then you change the date, go back into Pokemon and back out of the lobby. The den is now reset and glowing again around the edges, which means you can now get another 2000 watts from that den. And then you just repeat the process and you get 2000 watts every time. Farm tiers and sell tiers you don't use to gain easy money. Tiers are technical records that teach your Pokemon a new move and break after use. You can get tiers from beating any raid Pokemon. The type of the tier will be determined by the type of the Pokemon you are battling. You can also purchase tiers from Rotom Rallists, which are NPCs located in the wild areas. There are seven different Rotom Rallists, and each of them carries a different selection of tiers, which change daily, and you can use Watts to purchase any of these. You can also sell any unused tiers to get easy money. Farm evolution items and other items. Easiest way to get a bunch of evolution stones and other items is to spend your watts for the Dicking Duo. You want to be ready to evolve any new Pokemon that evolves with items. You also want to have other items ready for the Grammomatic. 
The Cramomatic is a new feature in Isle of Armor which lets you recycle and combine four items into a one new item. However, we currently don't know the combinations of what items reward what, but again it doesn't hurt to be prepared. Fix the Wicom errors by making sure your internet connection's NAT type for your Nintendo Switch is A. If it's not a A type, you'll have a harder time trying to trade with other people or joining their raids because the connection will most likely fail and give you an error. I'll leave a link to my guide on how to fix the connection of your Nintendo Switch, but it requires you to have access to your router. It's kinda lengthy video, but the steps are fairly easy to do and overall it might totally change your multiplayer experience in Pokemon Sword and Shield, so I do recommend checking it out if you have any problems in trading or doing raids with other people. And lastly, if you have completed everything else, farm Master Balls. You get one Master Ball from Professor Magnolia, but you can get more of them through the Lotto ID. If you don't know how to farm Master Balls, check out my other video where I go through the process of acquiring them step by step. I'll leave a link to that video in the description box down below. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the Isle of Armour.